Hi and welcome everyone. Finally, I got the moon. I have a video with moon, the sun, and the very, um, an, again, an incredible, cool infrared capture. I'm in the sky here by myself outside. This is Pleiades, and I brought the laser out, and I followed a UFO for a couple minutes that you're going to see, and then I asked it to flash, and it started flashing. Let's take a look. Pleiades. You recognize Pleiades, right? Let's see Pleiades. Instantaneously, a UFO will appear right under Pleiades, really low and close. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> whole bunch of them. It wasn't too long, eh? All I had to do was... Wow. All I had to do was flash a laser. This is a weird one. I'll ask it to flash for me and it starts flashing, starts fluttering. I got another flash that night. Pretty big. Can you flash for me? Thank you. Doesn't really look like your your regular light that you see. Um, it's been a while I haven't seen the ones flashing like this, actually. Well, it's been a year since last year, actually. Watch it properly. You see that it's something looks like it's out of control. It's even invisible in some parts. And watch this. Boom. That's impressive. Some can be debris, some can be asteroids, meteors, uh, interacting with the oxygen, clashing, clashing with the oxygen around Earth when it gets too close to Earth. But look at that. Sometimes, I don't know, <laughs> sometimes it literally looks like a craft is just flashing back at you. We're going to go see a short um, clip of the sun yesterday because it wasn't very active well actually it is but compared to what it's been all month no so once again um i caught a rock or something going around in the sun's atmosphere and i want to share it with you first let's look at yesterday's sun doesn't look like much but in the center there you can see four big spots and they are big if they're that big they're as big as earth you can see them and Watch what I was able to capture. You're going to see in the top left. Um, actually, it'll be after this frame. I want you, wanted you to see it properly. So I brought the exposure down so that we can see um, uh, the plasma also on each side. You can see it. Watch on the left on the top there. Oh, did you see it? That slowed down thousands of times. I only saw a flash. And I was I'm able to at least see this. Well, it's really important that we see that. Uh, can you see it going from top to left on the, on the top left? What's happening is that we just had a, a several CMEs recently from the sun. Sometimes plasma can remain trapped around the sun, they said. And I can only imagine that some of these pieces that we are seeing could possibly be um, that, just that. Or also, they could also be asteroids and meteors and slivers coming in from wherever interstellar space from outside of the solar system there's a lot of rocks inside of the solar system that are being tracked a lot of people don't know that there are quite a few of them that's you know aside from the, the debris finally on the surface of the moon this is the moon yesterday that i filmed and i'm uh, filming it so that i can make a moon video finally and each time you film the moon there's always new details that you can see and of course always along the terminator line you see the nice blues and grays on the bottom there which is merimbrium where they declared having landed and let's take a look at the moon thanks for watching everyone
I'll tell you what, there should not be any fires at all on the moon, but there are. Lots of them. The Artemis Program, a United States-led international human spaceflight program, and its primary goal is to return humans to the moon, and specifically, was said, the lunar south pole. By 2025, if successful, it will include the first crewed lunar landing mission, so they say, since Apollo 17, which was in 1972, supposedly the last lunar flight of the Apollo program. Well, there's also speculation about where they're going to land. There was also mention and said not to be excluded the possibility of them returning, that's right, to an old landing location. Where do you think they're going to choose? <laughs> Sorry, Sinus Iridum's one of them, right? And... Apollo 17 landing area because that's where that massive square is on the surface. Where do you think they're going to want to land? So what do we know so far? Well, we know astronauts, including Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, all admitted having seen lights on the moon and they even admitted not having gone to the moon. And we're still talking about it. Imagine some people are still talking about it. Aristarchus. Look at that. Aristarchus Crater. Look at all the browns, blues, and lines, and connections. And I'm telling you, when you analyze and study that moon, it's just crazy. You know, if they're seeing lights when they went up and they were flipping out, what are they going to do when they have to land on the moon and remain there? I just don't see it happening, I'll be honest with you, because there are people on the moon. And if they do land on the moon... Well, then there'll be even more speculation about exactly who is on the moon. We're not going to stop wondering that. People are going to start wondering. Younger generations are going to start being as concerned as us, the supposed conspiracy theorists are. Conspiracy theorists are going to have to change that word in a couple of years. They're all right. So, look on the top left. Look at the object going by very, very fast. It looks like it's around the sun. Do you remember the other object that I showed just a couple of months ago after the last CME? Look at that. Doesn't it look like the exact same trajectory of what I just showed you, but like a mirror image? It is. There are objects flying around the sun. Seeing them like that, way cool. I mean, they're rare captures, right? So... I try to get in as close as I can, and I'm really happy when I'm able to finally capture something. So you can see this one, whatever it is, it's an object on fire. I mean, wow, are they, you know, all those sun probes are getting ready, by the way. Scientists are getting ready leading up to 2025. Uh, nobody has any clue, not even the scientists, on what that sun's going to do <laughs> leading up to 2025. That's why we're observing it. Coming soon. 